Hello all, today we will discuss about KNOE system variables and um, yeah, in KNOE um, if you want to create a system variable or edit a system variable um, you can go to this environment tab and uh, click on system variables configuration and uh, you will get a pop-up window to define uh, use defined system variables and if you see the categories here we have two different categories user defined system variables and system defined system variables so user defined system variables are something uh, which you are creating um, for uh, modeling your uh, simulation environment um, but if you take the system defined they were uh, automatically automatically created by the canoe configuration uh, for internal purposes so if you see here in system defined system variables you will have something like uh, stat uh, statistics which uh, when i add can1 and can2 in my network these variables will be automatically created by the canoe configuration uh, let's concentrate only on the user defined uh, uh, system variables because uh, most of the times we create system variables here and uh, we use it for the uh, simulation purpose so in canoe system variables can be used for modeling internal parameters um, so in contrast to the environment variable system variables describe neither external or in, external input or output signals of a node nor they are used for communication of signals between uh, nodes in a real network instead um, and uh, system variables are used for development and uh, testing since they provide the opportunity to change and to analyze internal variables and parameters they are also used to indicate signals in KNOE uh, which are not defined in a database and uh, which are not received via a network okay example they were um, KNOE IO signals okay uh, <clears throat> if you um, so system variables uh, when you say a variable it will have a data type right so for system variable um, let's try to create a new variable and if you see here this is how you will create a new system variable either you will right click here in the empty space or you click on this new system variable icon okay let's try to create a new system variable and if you see here uh, this is the template for creating a system variable uh, manually okay so if you see here there is a namespace um, and all the system variables are defined within the namespaces okay it is something like each system variable belongs to one particular namespace and is in uniquely defined therein and uh, when you are uh, creating a system variable uh, the variable names are also distinguished between upper and lower case letters it is case sensitive so and if you see the namespace here you can create uh, a nested namespace as well uh, in a, a program they uh, can be separated using uh, two double colons okay so <clears throat> let's try to give a namespace for our uh, demo configuration so let's try to give you um, sys or let's try to give sys where demo is a namespace <coughs> under this namespace category we can now define the system variable name um, let's try to give something like uh, speed okay then if you want you can mention some comment for this uh, variable name um, it is something like a description if someone wants to know what is the use of this variable you can define that comments here and coming to our topic uh, the system variables has multiple data types so when i say variable variables will have a data type right so if you click on the data types available uh, so you can see here we have integer 32 bit assigned 
data uh, data type of data which accepts the uh, data as bytes uh, we have double 64 bit we have double array uh, integer 32 bit unsigned integer 64 bit signed integer 64 bit unsigned we have also integer array and data type string okay uh, and if you see uh, the next option uh, in the new system variable uh, we have the option to uh, option uh, to select the location where this uh, system variable will be saved or stored okay so right now by default it is selected as configuration so whenever you create a system variable it will be saved along with your canoe configuration in our case it is demo.cfc or what you can do you can actually uh, select a, um, a path and then save it under an xml file so if you change the location then this system variable will be created under that xml file okay and stored in the xml file <coughs> and if you see the properties of system variable we have this initial value okay uh, let's try to select something other than string for the speed we can select uh, integer okay integer sign and uh, i can define an initial value as soon as the system configuration started running um so this uh, variable will be uh, value will be set to zero and um, if you see the minimum so we should always maintain the uh, minimum value or uh, we can say like the initial value should be always greater than the minimum okay and uh, maximum let's say if we want to mention 200 and uh, let's say kilometer per hour okay kilometers per hour uh, uh, we can also create a value table okay whenever the values are displayed in uh, the trace window or in our graphics can we graphics panel uh, anywhere so whenever you are displaying if you wanted to uh, name the uh, value okay value inside a signal so we can do it using the value table let's try to create one for us and uh, here <coughs> speed okay then zero will be our unit value and uh, let's say 200 is our um, maximum okay so this way you can define the structure so it whole it everything depends on your use case let's say if you are use creating a system variable for uh, two or three states yeah you can see here that uh, default example templates here on underscore off which has zero off zero uh, with off as a description uh, one for on two as invalid same way active inactive and some other uh, in default one okay so in our case we created a speed uh, value table zero as in it 200 as a maximum and uh, we need to select this table here now speed okay so now if you expand this it will be displayed here <coughs> okay and you also have the uh, property to set whether uh, this uh, variable is used only in analysis mode or if you want to set this variable as read only so that uh, no one can actually write a value to this variable okay uh, you can actually check this box so that it becomes a read only you cannot write or, or update the system variable value okay yeah so let's try to see it in our example okay okay then the variable is created here and uh, yeah let's try to save this so 
why we first we will try to uh, change the system variable in a uh, capital code and then uh, let's try to visualize it in a analysis window graphics window let me add the system variable here okay. so to add a system variable in uh, graphics window right click in the uh, left co column and then add variable click on add variable you will get all the variables um, listed under system variables our uh, we created system uh, sys underscore where underscore demo under that namespace we created a variable called speed okay let's try to select this value okay then edit in the system variable capital mode okay um, let's try to change the speed value uh, every one second okay we wanted to increment the speed value by five okay then uh, let's try to create a variable so <clears throat> Let's try to create a timer. One second time. Let's try to create one second timer. And I wanted to define <clears throat> try to change. The speed okay. so I want to increment this time speed value every time whenever it reaches <coughs> whenever this timer is triggered and let's try to trigger this timer on start when the measurement is started, I wanted to set this timer cyclically. Okay. Every one second. So if you see the score now, I created a variable called T underscore one S uh, millisecond timer and then uh, define the definition and then incrementing the speed uh, system variable here and uh, this timer i'm calling every one second cyclically okay now let us try to compile okay compilation succeeded with zero errors and zero warnings uh, let us now go to the configuration and run the configuration okay now you can see the value is incrementing every one second and if you want to see the value here so you can see it here the value is incrementing okay now what we will do <coughs> once it reaches uh, 200 we want to reset it to zero and then start again So so here if you see this code I'm incrementing till 200 
okay incrementing till 200 and when once it becomes 200 i'm making it to zero or else every time i will be incrementing it by value one okay let's try to compile maybe we will try to increment 10 10 at a time start it looks easy let's try to start <coughs> started with zero and then incrementing by 10 so so this is one way of uh, using a system variable in your capital scripting the other way uh, is to opt use this in your um, graphic panel okay so let's try to open any graphic panel let's edit this So in graphic panel, you can update uh, uh, a system variable uh, in many different ways. Uh, one way is to uh, <coughs> use this IO box to enter a value. So drag and drop and then go to your system variable, select a variable and drag and drop that you will be able to enter the split value directly and uh, uh, we have one more uh, control uh, for incrementing the speed so this you can do it this way okay and you can visualize the speed uh, using any of the uh, bars in our case let us try to use an analog gauge to display the speed <coughs> yeah then set the values maximum value is 200 and uh, let's try to scale it as 190 it looks nice and uh, change the text to k per hour okay and now add your system variable uh, <coughs> let's try to Let's try to visualize this panel one. Okay, now you can see it here. Okay. And let's try to make this as smooth as possible. <coughs> Let us reduce it to uh, every hundred millisecond. I want to increment the speed by one. now you can see <coughs> the value is incrementing yeah now let's say uh, you don't want it to, to update this value uh, via capital okay now what you can do let's stop disable capital node start and uh, go to your panel so by default it is uh, set to the init value yeah now you can increment it or set the value to something like 100 okay it gets updated then increment it okay so this is how you will change a system variable uh, let's try to see uh, uh, the capital inbuilt functions available for system variables. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you see here, um, 
we have so many functions for uh, setting a system variable and uh, reading the data from the system variable okay it all depends on the data type of the system variable and if you see the syntax here uh, to set a variable of d word okay system variable d word um, so the, this is how you will set a d word uh, data type uh, to a system variable okay and um, so if you see the first argument you need to give pass the namespace and uh, then followed by the variable name and uh, value okay um, the same applies to the other data types also um, <coughs> if you see the sys set variable data okay so when you are setting a value uh, uh, to the system variable of type or uh, data type data uh, then you need to pass first argument as namespace variable name followed by the data in array of bytes okay so the data you which you wanted to set should be an array of type byte and then also you need to pass the size okay what is the size of the data which you are trying to assign <coughs> and the same applies uh, when you are trying to read the data um, so you will have a, a function uh, to set the variable and get the variable data So if you see here first argument should be uh, namespace variable name then followed by the buffer where you wanted to uh, uh, read the variable and store it inside a buffer uh, followed by the number of uh, uh, bytes copied okay so these two arguments you don't have to uh, assign anything you just need to, to provide the buffer uh, along with the uh, variable name copied bytes so what it does is all the data whatever is available inside this variable will be copied to this buffer and how uh, the size of uh, or the number of bytes copied will be uh, mentioned inside copied bytes variable okay. and uh, uh, the other data types will be uh, same as integer and one more different one is this string okay so for string you need to pass the uh, uh, namespace followed by variable and uh, followed by the value which you wanted to set for set variable string okay this will be a, a character array which you need to pass as an argument hard argument and if you want to read the uh, uh, variable uh, system variable which is of type of string uh, there is one more um, inbuilt function uh, for getting the variable <coughs> string uh, so if you see here it looks similar to the data uh, system uh, sys variable data data type um, so you need to pass first argument uh, namespace then followed by the variable name then the buffer in which you wanted to uh, uh, read the uh, sys string data uh, followed by the buffer size okay this will have the buffer size it way this is this function will set the buffer size value uh, then size of the buffer then what else is different yeah we have also this um, array type yeah let's try to see one syntax um, array also looks similar to the uh, data type data and uh, string only thing is here you will pass uh, pass for floating array you will pass the flo uh, uh, float array as a value and uh, for integer it will be integer array um, the same applies to the get variable um, variable float array long array and integer array okay <coughs> 
yeah that's it uh, we will see in the next video